In the year 2099, humanity embarked on a journey of interstellar exploration. Across the stars, we approach strange new worlds. As explorers descend from the sky, the rulers of alien domains bare their claws and fangs. Crisis and competition await. Yet the footsteps of those who seek the unknown never falter. Collector Robot RR2. This used to be a strategic front line against the Grod, so there may still be many resources left nearby. Please send out an RR2 to gather resources. We need sufficient energy to activate the command center. Commander, I've picked up a weak signal from nearby. We need to find out what it is. Please maintain caution. The Grod could appear at any time. Excuse me, have you seen my arm? I lost it, and I can't move without the balance it provides. Hey, my arm! I can't thank you enough. My guardian angel, you put me back together. I was working for a trial commander here, until he was eaten by the Grod. It's been so long since I've seen humans. So, who are you, and why are you here? You're a commander too? Then you're in luck! The name's RR7. I'm a Type 7 Reclamation robot, designed for exploration and aiding commanders. There are many facilities that we can use around here. Oh, I see a solar plant under the fog there. Okay, now let's check out that solar plant. Come with me. Exploring fog-shrouded areas is my specialty. See? The solar plant is right here. Once activated, it can provide enough power for your base. Great! Now we can produce our own energy. RR2 won't have to keep going out and gathering it. Hold on, I just received a list of missions from headquarters. According to the list, our top priority is to rebuild the base.
What was that? I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh no! It's the Grodd! We're doomed! We don't have enough firepower to stop them. Quick, let's find a good hiding place. Looks like you got a little bug problem. Well, you're in luck. Old Parker can handle it. Calm down. I'm here to help. I built RR2X with my own hands. It's more than enough to deal with a couple of bugs. We need to set up a formation before entering combat. Mechs are my favorite type of vehicle. That's my buddy over there. Say hello to my little buddy, RR2X. RR2.X? I've never heard of this type. It's even got a giant electromagnetic gun. Actually, I customized RR2X myself. Check out the specs. Electromagnetic gun, comfortable cockpit, it's got everything you could want. In spite of the fact that it's mostly scavenged, RR2X is a nice little piece of mech that you can count on. To set up your troops, we need more well-trained soldiers to operate mechs. These are my men. With them on board, we should be able to deal with the problem. Great, we're ready to rock and roll. Now let's go squash some bugs. R2X, let's kick some grot ass. That's strange. I feel like there's been more and more grot around here recently. I've seen my fair share of them. About a decade ago, I even killed a couple grod behemoths. This guy looks tough. I feel less afraid of the Grod just by having him around. I think we should invite him to join us. I'll never say no to killing the Grod. I may be old, but used to be I was an elite mech operator. The scavenger camp to the south of here has a lot of veterans. We should check it out. I reckon they'd be interested in taking on the Grod. Rebuilding our base out here in the wastelands won't be easy. We could use more help. I've got bad news. The scavengers are starving and need food. None of them will fight on an empty stomach. We don't have much food left either. How much do they need? What do you say? Should we help those scavengers? Okay, let me see. 280 packs of food should be enough to feed all the scavengers. Also, this place used to be a mobilization center. We could use it to train these scavengers into qualified reservists. 280 servings of food coming up. I'll make RR2 start gathering right away. But it might take a while to collect all that food, since we only have one RR2. <laughs> I got an RR2 here. It's another one of my old buddies. That'll help you collect food faster. 
Sounds great! Commander, now we can order both robots to collect food at the same time! Okay, RR2s, get busy! scavengers are willing to join us. They even turned their old home back into a mobilization center so we can start training reservists. Scavengers are here. With enough resources, we'll soon have a sizable army of reservists. A decent number of reservists is essential for victory. With enough folks in the reserve troop, we can replenish each formation whenever needed. Okay, we're losing daylight here. Let's train our first batch of reservists. You're really putting our base in shape. Headquarters will gradually send us more building facilities. Oh, we're getting sent a solar plant. Building a solar plant can increase our energy production. Let's get to it. What the hell? Could that be the Grod? Scanning. Magnitude 3.5 earthquake detected. The source of the tremors is located to the southwest. Unable to confirm their cause. An earthquake? That's new. I thought it was the Grod. I'm not gonna lie. My circuits were buzzing. Earthquakes, the Grod. You never know what we're gonna have to face out here. We'd better collect as many resources as we can. Would you like to check your hero archives? Let me tell you more about your heroes. After the upgrade, their troop capacity will increase accordingly. Each specialty has its own unique features. Be sure to send the right guy for the right task, or gal, of course. Once upgraded, they'll be able to lead more combat units. Now let's replenish their formation with more units. As long as your formation meets certain requirements, the hero's special skill will be activated. There are lots of important details about your heroes here in the Hero Archives. 
You can always come back and check them out. Long time no see. Yikes, that belly of yours only got bigger. Still moody, I see. What are you doing here? I was looking for the analysis lab to get the new weapon I ordered. You see that heap of ruins behind me? Yeah, that's it. Is the new weapon in the drop pod over there? Now I'm intrigued. You can fix that heap of junk, right, Parker? Well, you're in luck, Max. You find me some metal and I'll take care of the analysis lab. All right, Parker. We can always count on you. You turn those ruins into this shiny new facility. Never would have thought. I'll take the compliment. When it comes to fixing things, I'm your guy. Max, come on. Show us the new weapon you ordered. I can't wait. Right on. Let's get this drop pod analyzed. <laughs> The lab has started to analyze the drop pod. It'll take some time. Ooh, I love this feeling. It's like waiting to open presents. Wow, that's a big tank. It's a bulwark, classic and rare. It looks like most of its parts have been well-maintained. That's amazing. Of course it's amazing. It cost me a fortune. Max, we're planning to rebuild the base right here, and we could use more help. What do you say? You want to join us? Rebuild the base? Here? You people must be crazy. Ah, you know me. I like it crazy. <laughs> yeah, count me in, Parker. Great, welcome aboard. With you here, we can finally set up a tank formation.
Now, dispatch that tank to me. It's gorgeous! But I'm really looking forward to testing the Bulwark's performance in combat! Add it to my formation. Hope I get to test drive it soon! Great! My special skill's been activated. Looks like me and the Bulwark really hit it off. With it at my s We already have some reservists in our base. I can train them to drive tanks. Nice. Soon this thing will be grinding up the grot under its treads. I know how you drive, Bonnie. The grot don't stand a chance with you behind the wheel. Gee, Pops, why do I get the feeling you're trying to sweet-talk me into leading the next fight? <laughs> you got me there. Tanks do have a better defense, though. It makes more sense to have you lead the charge. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'll be up front to shield you and your little OR2X when the fighting starts, old man. Lucky me! There's another RR2 in the analysis lab. Help! Parker! Bonnie! Damn, it's the grod. Everybody get ready. Perfect timing! Now I get to take my new bulwark for spin! With you two around, I've grown far less afraid of losing another arm. I wouldn't get too comfy. The grout have been showing up a lot lately, and it's stirring up some bad memories for me. Come on, old man, you worry too much. It's not like there's a grout behemoth around here or anything. We'll be fine. We can explore further now. Where should we spread some democracy next? Thank you. 
Attention, airborne entity detected. It's traveling at a high velocity. What is that thing? It looks like a bomb. That ain't a bomb, that's a GL type sealed flying pod. It's a kind of escape pod. I haven't seen one for at least a decade now. Look at that smoke. Guess it wasn't a successful landing. We should check it out. There might be survivors there. This ain't good. That's a Grod Beetle we're facing. Crap. Those things have shells that are tougher than armor. We don't want to mess with them until we have enough firepower. I think there are some scavengers around here who know how to operate mechs. Maybe we could... Well, I'll be. Look over there. Speak of the devil. Those are the scavengers I was talking about. Let's invite him to join us and build up our strength. There's no time to waste then. I'll invite them now. Okay, form up scavengers. Welcome to the tank core. With our beautiful combo of mech and tank power, those Grod didn't stand a chance. Thank 
Nice! The tank assembly station is built. The power of our tank troops has been greatly improved. Um, excuse me, ma'am. My name is RR7. Are you looking for something? Who are you? We're here to conquer this planet. We're building our base, and you are? It's classified. Let's invite her to join us. We can always use more friends, right? Hello, dear sir, madam, and or Kapachi attack helicopter. How may I assist you today? My name is Yukiko. I'm looking for a crimson grod preying on human children. Only human children? Then I'm safe. I mean, um, outraged. We're willing to help, right, Parker? A grod that eats kids? You better believe I'm willing to help put it down. Thank you for your help. never seen anyone operate a mech so well. Thank you, but it seems the red grad I seek is not here. Please, proceed with rebuilding your base. Until next time. Miss Yukiko is so cool! I can't wait to see her again! Some scavengers that there's a large swarm of grod gathering around that crashed escape pod. I reckon they've been drawn by the scent of survivors. All right, time to play hero. I wonder who's in there. To eliminate large swarms of grod, we'll need to use supporting weapons that cause area damage. We can get. Hey, it's Miss Yukiko. She's right. The drop pod I ordered is incoming! Let's take a look. 
Time's running short. We have people to save in that escape pod. We need to speed up the analysis progress. Nuclear grenades. Oh, man. This kind of weapon can demolish everything in a set area. Now we're talking. Let's equip these for our formation. With supporting weapons, our formations can put your enemies on life support. Now where'd those Grod get off to? I'm itching to see these nuclear grenades in action! There. The Grod swarm's gathering where the escape pod crashed. Now you can test out your new weapons.
That looks like the grad swarm those scavengers mentioned, all right. Careful, there's a lot of them. Your mech is equipped with nuclear grenades. Show them what you've got, Parker. Yeah, Pops. Don't let us down now. Magnificent! These supporting weapons work like a charm. Yeah, and that's just the start. There are all kinds of supporting weapons, each tailored for different combat situations. I call dibs on the next one we find. You can have the next one, but let's check for survivors first. Thanks for your help. My name is Lindsay Wells. I'm a member of the Grodd Behemoth Elimination Squad. I have important information for you. The Behemoth Elimination Squad? I'm guessing you didn't just come here to hang out with us. No, there's a Grodd Behemoth in the area. A Grodd Behemoth? Oh dear, I can feel my voltage rising. Oh man, don't tell me our robot's on the fritz. You got anything else for us besides this good news? Well, there's a quantum radar in the escape pod. You could use it to build an intel agency to help find the behemoth. A behemoth? I hope it won't get in the way of my mission. Gonna need lots of wafers to make this escape pod an intel agency. Wafers? Sounds tasty. Oh, you mean the electronic thingy.
The intel agency is complete. Now let's see what we can find. The radar can scan our perimeter in real time and mark all detected mission points. Look, it pings something we should check out. Here's a happy surprise. We found some supplies not far from the Grod Swarm we defeated. They're ours now. The intel agency couldn't find any behemoth traces. It may have gone underground. I'll stay here for now and try to find that behemoth. Before we confront it, we should increase our power by training as many combat units as we can. Now things are getting fun! I'll prepare more tanks so we can give that behemoth a little surprise when it pops back out. Bonnie, you're a real glass half full kind of gal, aren't you? A grand behemoth. Can't believe I have to face one again after all these years.
These look fancy. How do we use them, though? Accessory research can get us what we need to enhance our vehicles. If we're lucky, we might even get some legendary accessories. We should try spending some wafers on accessory research. Where the hell is that red thing? Yo, you again. We need some hands on deck. You in? I'm still searching for the red grod. Time to scour this place. Damn, were you hiding all that energy? Yukiko, have you found the red subject? I apologize. I haven't... You don't want to disappoint me, Yukiko. I know. I won't. We need to search further afield, and faster. Without any more info, it'll just be a waste of time. Miss Yukiko, you seem worried about something. No, I just want to find it faster. Nothing over here. Ugh, what a waste of time. This can't happen again. Let's go back to the base. I need another plan. Another earthquake? That was a big one. It's located to our north. We got
got to be fully prepared before we engage. I've lost too many friends to these monsters. I can't let that happen again. Man, I don't know. But that just makes the fight more fun. We've got to kill this behemoth for all the soldiers who lost their lives fighting the Grodd. We already have some mechs and tanks, and we have Miss Yukiko. I'm sure we can find a way to win. I didn't come here to hunt a behemoths. I can't afford to waste my time. My apologies. I've just received an urgent transmission and must leave right away. What? But, but we need you here. Sorry, take care. Miss Yukiko, where are you going? Oh man, it really would have been helpful to have her here on our side. All right, so we're on our own. Cheer up, people. Why would Miss Yukiko leave us? I miss her already. Commander, if we upgrade the command center, you, the commanding commander, can command three formations with your command center as the commander. Command. Calm down. Another formation will greatly raise our total command capability. Currently, our command capability cap is not high enough. So we need to take into account the command capability requirement of possible candidates before recruiting them. Trust me, it's too dangerous out here to fight alone. You need to join an alliance. First, let's see what you can do in one. These are the alliance emblem and name. These are all the functions of your alliance. You can tap in an alliance. Everyone helps each other. A strong alliance benefits all its members. Staying close to other alliance members helps your development too. Let's see where your alliance leader is located. By using an alliance teleporter, your base can be instantly teleported anywhere you want.
This used to be a dispatch station. If it was in a combat zone, then there should be some useful things left here. I will search here. You guys should go on. And it definitely not because I sense treasures around. Thank you. 